Welcome to First at Four, I'm Emily Sobey. Now today we've got 170 canoeists up on Lake Windery uh, for the second leg of the Grand Prix Sprint Series. Uh, the event kick started at 8 o'clock this morning and Nathan Curry is up at the lake at the moment. Uh, he'll be able to tell us what's going on up there. Thanks Emily, it's fantastic conditions down here at Lake Windery. It's the perfect day to kick off Grand Prix too. Now last time Ballarat hosted an event like this, it was back in the 1980s, so technology has come a long way since then. One of the systems they are using these days is called Finish Links. It's similar to those used in horse racing and athletics, and that's helped judge photo finishes. Now, Australian canoeing is very pleased with this technology, and what they're also pleased about is all the competitors that have come down to Ballarat. There's 170 here for the three-day event. Now, there was hopes late last night that five-time Olympian Clint Robertson would make a late entry. However, that has not happened, but there are still some big names. One of them is Alana Nichols. She's already a World Cup star, and they're already touting her as a future and Olympian, so keep an eye out for her come London later this year. Her events will start tomorrow and Sunday, but the main event today was the men's Open K1-1000, and Sam Norton from Tasmania was the star there coming first in the final. That's it for me today, so it's back to you, Emily. Thanks for that, Nathan, and don't forget you can see all the photos from today's action in tomorrow's edition of The Courier. Uh, plus, we'll have the full story behind the uh, armed robbery at the Priceline Pharmacy in Sturt Street this morning. We've got a great story behind that. Uh, so, for all those stories, don't miss your edition of The Courier tomorrow, plus latest updates online at thecourier.com.au.